you're looking at the northern end of Panoche Valley and the bulk of the solar project will go in on these lands uh, almost as far as the eye can see down to the uh, power tires that you can see in the distance. About 4,700 acres, uh, although the plan's in flux, I think. Panoche Valley um, is bounded by the Panoche Hills in the north and the Griswold and Toomey Hills and by the southern coast ranges. And the thing that stands out about you about Panoche is uh, it's arid, it's experiencing a grazing regime that makes it a very uh, short grass, bare ground landscape. It's a refuge um, uh, separated from the San Joaquin Valley by a, a line of hills to the east. And it seems to have a certain set of qualities that we don't completely understand that make it perfect for a suite of endangered species um, endemic to the San Joaquin Valley. And uh, it's, we, we call it a, a very uh, critical refuge for those species. And now just map out the panel footprint for me. Basically, uh, it's uh, helmet shaped with the uh, rim of the helmet uh, going along the southern boundary. So we'd be standing on the top of the head of, of uh, Darth Vader or whatever you want to call the helmet. And it would basically cover all the flattest parts of the valley that are currently in view and extend a little bit out of view to the east. And there's a strip of flat valley that's south of those power towers down there uh, that would not be developed. But essentially everything that you see would be solar panels.